be a good hunter, you need to be a steward of the land, it's conservation, preservation, and then you also need to identify good food sources of the animals. On this particular ranch, there are 19 natural food sources that the animals just love to eat. Uh, they prefer some, some food over others. They rely on cactus and the hard times and then some of the undesirable food sources out here when it gets heavy drought or weather gets bad or the food source dries up. We've got five food sources right here. Purple sage is one of the favorites. And when they bloom, they have a little purple flower on them. They're really pretty. The whole hillside is covered with them. Mesquite is another good for, uh, food source for them. It's high in protein, and then when they develop the beans, the beans fall down, and the deer love them. Then you have Wajillo, which is a good for, uh, food source. It's probably their number one food source. There's good food sources all around. One of their favorites is this wild persimmon. They don't care too much for the leaves. They will eat them, but when the fruit bears and falls to the ground, then uh, that's the, their main food source that they really like and they really go after them. So when you get on a lease or you have your own property or you go on a day lease, try to find an area where the animals are really have good food sources, good browse lines. Set your stand up in that area and then you'll be successful. Okay, this is a typical stand. The feeder is 20 yards away. But one of the reasons why this stand was set here is because this is a good area that has all the food sources that animals would want. Now, whether a feeder is popular or unpopular, that's a matter of opinion and, and a personal option. But in this area, this is brush country. The drought hit real, real hard. All the plants died. They wasn't bearing any fruit. So the feeder supplied a supplemental food source for them during the hard time. That feeder has 16% protein pellets in it and it has corn. And although the corn really has no protein value in it, 6%, it provides high energy. And during a real hard time, during droughts, it gave them an additional food source to come to. And whether it's controversial or not, it, uh, it uh, helps the animals make it through the real hard times. And then having a good water source really helps out. So in a blind like this, the feeder set at 20 yards. Animals are going to come in and out the trails, in and out the brush, and then you'll have a selective shot. The thing to do, and, and this blind needs to be redesigned because it lets in too much light. If you open up these windows, you see how much light that that lets in. The sun faces the morning sun. Sun comes up on the east side of the feeder and sets on the west side behind the blind. In the morning, it allows you too much light. So to cut down on that, you can use a camo net. And really all this is is an observation window. And then you can minimize the amount of light that you let into the blind. Still leave you a gap to see for animals coming in. But you have your main shooting window here on the side. And you want to set back into the back of the blind where your face and your hands are not going to be right up in the window. And in that way, that gives you a, a better odds at making a good shot. Here's some lethal shampoo and body wash. Try that. I like it. I've been using it. It's a good product. And then after you get out of the shower, then we'll uh, squirt you down with some lethal field spray. And then y'all be in good shape. Get some chances of getting the hog a whole lot better. Yes, sir. Thank you, too. You bet. good hunt. Uh, we weren't uh, real successful. We did shoot one pig and we harvested a couple sheep during the hunt. But we enjoyed uh, enjoyed each other's company and that's what it's all about. It's not coming out here and killing everything in sight. It's coming out here having a good time, relaxing, enjoying the environment and enjoying the wildlife. So I want to thank Sam and Steve for coming out and Father Tom over in the background and uh, we'll get out here and we'll do it again. Uh, I'm Dave Lenny. That's your tip of the week and we'll have you pumping blood best part of the hunting trip was the, the Migas and uh, our wonderful host, uh, Dave Lenning, uh, making a wonderful breakfast. It's, it's one thing to get up at 5.30, it's another when there's hot coffee and a great meal. A uh, real blessing in all this was having uh, fun out in the outdoors with my son and uh, watching how uh, he handled himself and, and had uh, uh, even Mr. Lenning a little bit impressed with 
his knowledge of all that was going on and how to make this uh, a wonderful hunt, one that we'll remember and treasure the rest of our lives.